everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video. Chris is not actually here yet, I've got here a bit early this morning, he's out walking the dogs. It's really weird starting the video, sitting here, it's, this is where we normally finish them. So you can see what it is in the thumbnail. One of you guys reached out to us on Instagram, Neil, thank you very much. Said, Rob, got this transit van sitting here, it's costing us money every month in payments, we need to get rid of it. And the story was, it was his son's, his son's now moved or working away in Germany. I don't know if he's emigrated or he's working there. I can't remember what Neil said, but basically he doesn't need the van anymore. The engine, unfortunately, is blown up. And I think there, there's quite a lot on the internet about him. It's a two litre Puma engine. And as you can see, by the van. I didn't actually realise until I spoke to Neil, it's a long wheelbase. It's not gonna fit on my truck and it's gonna be way too heavy. So Neil's told us what he wants for it. I've, I've paid the money for the van. I've took a chance on it. We can't go and see the van. It's too far away. And like I said, it don't fit on my truck anyway. So it's like a couple of journeys. So it's reasonably priced. We've took a chance. In fact, I'll just include the pictures what Neil sent me when I, when he offered me the van. I'll insert them now. As you can see, apart from the bit of damage on the wheel arch and a few little marks and dinks around it, it's actually quite a nice tidy van. It's a 66 Reg, but it's actually an early 2017 van. So we've sent a company up there to collect it. Neil's gonna try and get some footage of it being loaded when it gets there. And hopefully, I'll, I'll include that after this bit. And then hopefully it'll be back here within a couple of hours and we can get, get it in the workshop, make an assessment and have a look at it. Let's do it. Chris has just gone up there, let the guy out the gate. First impressions, very, very nice van. I'll have to watch my leg on that toe and I. I've got a few little dents and marks. There's key there, mate. Let you have a look. It's nice, isn't it? It's kind of looking, isn't it? Nah. Yeah, in the, in the video, when it was loading on that truck, it looked like that had a big dent there, but it hasn't, it's just diesel. It's got all the deadlocks on it, and there's the damage. A little break in the back light there. It's in quite nice condition, really, Chris, isn't it? Yeah, it's got that must have been on there from new. That's Looks nice. nice. Get out of no, that's all right, mate. I'm going to come back around the front. He has. He did say it, what did he say, Chris? It had been in a garage and yeah. they diagnosed that the cam's not actually turning on it when it's spinning over. So we're assuming cam belt. In fact, I think he's, belts, yeah, he like. said something about the wet belt. Yeah, that's the oil pump belt. So that's, it'd be the cam belt's gone, wouldn't it? Yeah. Think. Let's get it in a workshop, make an assessment, mate, eh? Hey? But mm. we're happy with it for what we paid with it, ain't we? Yeah, that's a nice fan. I did just try the side loading door, but it's uh, got a deadlock on it. I better stop recording, eh? That's it. All ply lined, spare wheel. I think that goes underneath, doesn't it? Oh, it's a bit stiff for me, Chris, with one hand. You're going to have to do that, mate. Sorry. Yeah, it's 
tight, aren't it? It is nice though, it's not all scratched up. Yeah, we get into that in the workshop if you want. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all the seats are in nice condition, which is nice for us. All the paperwork there, yeah. Don't show the logbook if it's got a name on it. The guy's just handed me a folder. Is he? Yeah, it's probably in there. Right, let's get it in the workshop. Chris said, instead of time-lapsing this, we always time-lapse it. Let's try and do it live. We shouldn't have really reversed it in here. It was a bit foolish of me, really, telling the driver where to put it before Chris had got back. Yeah. was already half unloading it by the time we turned up. It's come in so handy that quad bike. Yeah, good. Look at the smile on his face. He loves that. Yeah. Really nice, tidy van this is inside. Yeah, just out the sun. Let's get straight to work on it. So guys, we've been told that the cam is not turning, but obviously we would like to check that for ourselves. There's two belts down there. We don't know if it's the cam belt or the wet belt that's broken. Again, it's gonna be quite obvious. And if you can see how small that gap is there for us to get in, we're just going to strip all of... We're going to strip out the minimum, Chris, aren't we, that we just can, to the, uh, just to get to rocker the, the rocker cover and also get a spanner on the pulley and turn it over uh, just so that we know ourselves that that is the issue with it. But for now, you're not going to see in here, guys. In fact, two of us are not even going to be able to work in here. It's that small with all this front on. But we don't want to remove any of that till we've proven what is wrong. So we're just going to crack on and strip out the minimum, like this air box and various other bits, and then we'll all have a look once we got that off. Chris said that was quite straightforward to do, so he's removed the airbox. I don't know if I mentioned earlier, this is actually AdBlue, this van, so I'm not sure if that's gonna make a difference, but I thought I'd put that in there anyway. He's also removed the filler cap, and as you can, the pipe, yeah, as you can see in there, you can see the cam, the teeth on the end of the cam there, sprocket. and the, the sprocket and the cam belt, and Chris did just put his finger in there and poke that and said, it doesn't feel like it's got any slack in it, but there is a big cover underneath and a crank puller, that's yeah. covering up everything. So we're, in gear. we're gonna stick it in gear, rock, rock it. it backwards and forwards, and just see if that moves. I'll try and capture it on camera, but do you want the key, Chris? You're not gonna need it, are you? Yeah, backwards, yeah? Oh, sorry, the torch fell on it, go on. Come forwards. Yeah, it's moving. Yeah. Yeah, very strange. I'm going to cut there, guys, and I'm going to push it so Chris can have a good look. Very inconclusive there, rocking it. I probably should have waited till I caught my breath back, Chris. Me and Chris was just rocking it backwards and forwards, and it does just ever so slightly move, and then it stops. Would you say that? Yeah, That's about rocking, it. it. Rocking. So we just decided. We chucked the jump pack on it. I spun it over. Chris said it moved a little tiny bit and then nothing. So 
with sort of aiming towards cam belt. Yeah, yeah. Well, all it's the teeth, because it's still tight. Do you reckon all the teeth have sheared off it? Mm. And the pulleys, the mm. box. Yeah. Possibly, you don't know, do you? We don't do it. And you can't actually get no. your fingers in there to feel it. So, what we're going to do now? Start the process of stripping it down, getting that cover off I the mean, side of it. I suppose it's possible that it's snap cam. Nah, it wouldn't. It. it because if, if, if that pulley had come off or come loose, the belt would still go because the belt's driven by the crankshaft. That's right, yeah. So it's possible the crankshaft, has, it has been known that they come loose, hasn't it? Yeah. And, and and we've noticed, like when we did that Range Rover, they're not on the Woodruff key anymore. No, all ta they're taper. Tapered yeah, just and tapered. just tightened That's up yeah, really yeah. hard. So, so if, if the bottom pulleys come loose... Um, the crank will be spinning and the pulley will be stationary. Yeah, that's right. But it's not seized up. No. So it's not the wet belt, because that, that runs the oil pump, which seizes it Yeah, it would have seized it. Yeah, no oil. So What should we do? Just dive in and start stripping I'll, more out? I think we're going to take the front off. Just to give us a lot more room. Yeah. I think I said earlier, look, that's, that's my arm there. So you just don't... There's not a lot in there at all. And it's not an aircon van, so we've got no gas to uh, no, claim back. It's... Um, it's likely going to be head off anyway, isn't it? Yeah, now? bent so. valves. And well, I don't know whether they... Or do they do the rockers? The little 1.6s, my mate's been doing a lot of them. The, the valves don't bend, the rockers snap when the belts go. So we might have got lucky with it. Process of elimination, I suppose. Let's crack straight on and get this one stripped out. <laughs> We actually made quite light work of that and it was it actually come apart fairly easy we've got the whole front panel and radiator over there and then in the back of the van it was bonnet front bumper two headlights and a grill it, it was really easy wasn't it and now look how much more accessible everything is it's certainly come apart a lot easier than that vivaro did but every bolt on that was rusty so uh yeah we can see a lot more but there is a lot more for us to strip out. But rather than us actually time lapse that, because you'll probably notice in this video, we're trying to keep the time lapse to a minimum. We're going to remove that alternator, Chris, aren't we? Remove a few other pipes, yeah. just so that we can get that cover off the side and have a good look. But I think if we do go down the case of the head work on this, would you agree we're probably going to pull that engine out, aren't we? Good it's going to be a lot easier to work on out of the vehicle isn't it but let's just see how we get on i'll cut back in once we've stripped a few more bits off guys do a little bit more time that's by stripping the rest of it let me just get under there yeah. and um we actually time lapsed it and i said oh well, that'd be enough and i looked at my phone and we'd actually recorded ourselves live for 26 minutes we've now got everything stripped out we're on to the bottom pulley chris has just put the pulley puller on there and he's going to unwind that and hopefully it comes off but i'll move around to the other side and show you and there was no wood rough key on there so right. that pulley basically down there it's got the pulley tool on there and that just works basically pushing on the original bolt it's got four holes in it so uh i'll see that spin round and it's not locking up it's getting quite tight so we'll get that off and then we can remove this cam cover and have a good look inside and this is what i meant about the bottom pulley guys as you can see no keyway in there so that is just done up mega mega tight and there's the puller we was talking about. And basically, this bolt here, there's, there's already holes in the pulley. So you bolt this bracket down to the pulley and then you push off of the crank 
or off of the original bolt and it then pulls this off of the crank so it looks like the timing one's keyway though oh does it so that can't slip no no so now we've got to remove all of this cover and we get that off and then we're going to see well right belt. we're going to see a snap belt, yeah that's on the key it's got to be then hasn't it yeah. either snapped or ripped Trim. all its teeth off yeah let's yeah. let's get that off and have a good look that's all the bolts everything's out of it now it's just sitting on a couple of dowels we had to drain all the oil down in it chris is going to attempt to break the seal and actually get that cover off just really so that we can all look at it together that's it yeah you have to go off that block it looks like it's going to be ruined that cover and i would go as it looks like it's got sicker flex behind it, doesn't it? We said a minute ago, we don't think this, this belt's ever been, this cover's ever been off. That's it's right on there, you're going to have to force it off. It's glued, isn't it? Yeah. Probably have to buy a new cover for it. That was going in down there underneath. What in there? Down a bit, yeah. It's bending it. Isn't yeah, mate, I don't think there's any way around it. It's glued all the way around, so... Certainly not going to be able to seal that off to getting it off, so we'll have to get a new cover anyway. Should we get a blade? Oh. One more right at the top. That's not stopping it coming out there, no, though, is it? Ain't helping, is it? No, and that was me undoing the top one. Chris undone all the bottom ones, and I've undone all the top ones. Yeah, it's still stuck right on there, isn't it? It's going to all out of shape, isn't it? I'll tell you what, guys, we're probably going to have to end up running a, running a blade around this, so we might have to cut back in once we've got it off. I just wanted to show everyone together what was wrong with it, because uh, we still don't know until this cover comes off. Let's wait till Chris gets a bit further. Here it comes. Chris was just saying, I must yeah. recommend yeah, a new cover. Mind you, it's got the chassis number on it. Engine number? Uh, engine number, something like that maybe, yeah. yeah. But uh, I can see some teeth missing. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. there you go. She's that, that was my guess. There's no teeth all the way down to there, all the way up there. There's all teeth there. The wet belt is broken as well. No, it's not. No, it's just slack. Yes. So, that is our issue. Cam belt. It's slipped. Yes. Well, it's where it's got no teeth on it, hasn't it? So, mm. to be fair, me and Chris did just say, I don't, we could be wrong. I mean, don't hold it to us. But that cover yeah. certainly doesn't look like that's yeah. ever been off to us. Never been off. Never. So this van, it's done 130. It's never had a cam belt put on it. So, uh, I've seen that before. I see it on my mate's Berlingo the other day. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, and that, that is not actually driven off the crank. Is it? Let's have a look. There's your crank. No, it's, it's not. It's got no. an intermediate gear and then a sprocket on there. But that that is going to have bent valves, isn't it? Well. I don't know on them. Broke the rockers, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I believe that. That was what I was told, that they broke the rockers and damaged the camshaft. Let's leave it there for a minute and have a coffee. I'll be honest with you guys, we had a cup of coffee there and we really wanted to get on. And actually, we want to get this stripped in this video, Chris, and actually find... The, yeah, see, all, what see what all the damage is so we have put that engine mount back on and these these have like the block then the head and then what would you call that a cam carrier yeah, and it's actually yeah. a sealed yeah, unit yeah, yeah. i mean yeah. you probably can take them apart but you buy a new cam you buy a new top for this and it comes with the cams so that's a complete unit and we really wanted to get to the bottom of it you can see there's quite a lot more stuff we had to take off like that cover the little black box alternator we just had to um all the egr system there just had to remove everything out of the way we've just bung the o up i've cracked all the injectors off we just leave them for a little bit chris has got an airline we're just going to blow it all off make sure there's no dust or debris that's going to fall in the engine but you can actually see where it joins through here like through here chris just done a bit of research very very interesting engine isn't it yeah. that, in that video so yeah We've got quite a few more little bits to get off, but we're hoping once we do get under here, again, a little bit of research, 
the valves are all upright in there. Perpendicular. Perpendicular. We're actually looking for some broken rockers. And uh, if they're broken, then hopefully that would have saved the valves. But, I mean, we'll look more into it once we've got that off. So we're just going to crack on and get that off. So a bit of work there, getting those injectors out. I'm glad that we didn't film it. But nothing underneath here looking untoward, to be honest. Chris has had a little feel of these. And he said, yeah, they do feel... What did we you say? They've all got play in them, but they're all exactly the same. We have got the cover upside down here. And you can buy this as a complete unit. And I think that we're probably going to start off by going down that road because this cam here spins and it's it just feels so smooth. There's nothing wrong with it at all. But the exhaust, even though it's got that vacuum pump on the end of it, it just, you can feel a bit of yeah, it just doesn't feel right. It just feels all notchy. So we are probably going to go down the route of just buying a new one of these. Um, Chris just found them online. They come brand new, obviously, because you can't remove these cams. I'm sure there is a way, but you no, they're they're made They'll like that, aren't the they? Yeah. So <clears throat> tiny little we're thing. We're actually going to take all of these out, and Chris is just going to get a straight edge across the top of all of the valves, and just see if one or two of those are sitting low, maybe. Because, but he has had a good look, and they all do look. They all do look the same. They all look perfect. So, might have dodged a bullet here, maybe. Definitely with the valves, but well, we're going to have to buy one of them. That's the exhaust can. So, if there is one damaged, it'll be more likely to be an exhaust one. Yeah. So, let's get all them out anyway, Chris, and get that straight edge on now and have a good look at them. Just before we do get all them out, I did want to elaborate. So, when that snapped... Like, if the piston did come up and hit one of these valves, hit the valve's going to hit the rocker. And I've actually seen it on a lot of these connects now. That's why they don't... Every time they take the, the cover off these connects or the little... What was that van you had? Bilingo. Bilingo. They've all got that little 1.6 engine in them. And they actually sell the cams on eBay for about £23 for those Bilingos. And what it is, when that comes up and hits it, believe it or not, these lobes are only pushed on from the factory so it actually moves these spins it. spins it a tiny little fraction and actually our mot tester i don't know if you remember further back in a video but he had a new shape bilingo there and he said i've put a new cam belt on it i've put all new rockers in it it will not start rob i said yeah you need to change the cam he went really and i actually went and got him a second hand cam he put it in and it fired straight up so we're not actually going to take any chances on this because none of them are broken, they've obviously come up. The, one of them valves has got to have been hit, hasn't it, with that? I mean, there's a small, small chance it didn't. But if one of them got hit, they haven't broken. They've obviously moved one of these lobes. It and we're not, A pair. A pair, yeah. So we're not actually going to take any chances, and we are going to buy one of them. Let's get on. So, guys, we'll put all the rockers into a box, and all of them do look the same, but all of them do have ever such slight play in them so let me know in the comment section down below if you have done these should that be like that and also i really really do think we may have dodged a bullet on this one chris has had that straight edge across the top of just going to do a little demo Stems. right on the ends of them and they're mm -hmm. yeah and they're all you can see there they're perfect. In the same way. All exactly the same, and you've checked. The front as well. The front as well. Yeah. And again, all the same height. So it's not looking like it's got a bent valve. To be honest with you, we we didn't actually plan on getting this carried away with it today, did we? We was just going to get it in for a bit of an assessment, see if we could see a broken belt or a broken wet belt. But as far as I'm concerned, it, and Chris as well, it's now stripped. We now, you know, the, the belt's off. That cover's off the top. We need to start getting some bits and pieces for it now. But I genuinely do mean it. We haven't done one of these before. So if one of you guys out there have done one and you think that there's something else in here that we should check, we're definitely going to go with a brand new top with two new cams in it. That's how you buy it anyway. And you found it online, Chris, for £300. So we're probably going to go down that road. But yeah, reach out if you have done one before. But that is as far as we can go with it today. So Chris was just saying to me there, since I 
uh, stop that bit of uh, video in. We are going to be changing the wet belt, so there is a little bit more, probably about an hour, you said, didn't you? Stripping out. You've got to pull the sump off to change that wet belt, and it would be foolish of us not to change that after we're doing all that. So, like I said, it is now just ringing around, getting a price. It's going to want a cam belt kit. It's going to want that cam with the cover, uh, the wet belt, full service kit, etc., etc. You get a gist of what I mean. And again, another lovely, nice, long video. We did that really long video that was about 26 minutes long. And I didn't expect the reaction from you guys saying 26 minute long video and still wasn't long enough. So we really appreciate it that you want to put up with listening to me for that long. But that is going to be the end of today's video. If you did enjoy it, as usual, please do give us a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. And also it shows your appreciation. Turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Like, subscribe and share. Check out the merchandise. The link is in the description. And of course, for the little sneak peeks, follow us on Instagram at Selvage Rebuilds. We'll see you later in the week for the next one.